morning, good afternoon or good evening, wherever you are on this beautiful world or whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube show. For the newcomers, my name is Didi Taihutu. Yes, you might recognize me and my family from about three and a half years ago when we literally sold literally everything we owned, our house, our companies, our bikes, our cars. We went all into Bitcoin and we started traveling the world. Now, three and a half years later, still traveling the world, coming to you guys from Alicante in Spain. In today's video, I'm of course going to talk about the Bitcoin price. I'm going to share some amazing charts with you guys I haven't shared before, but they are also indicating we are just up front of a huge bull run. Yes, also talking about Ryanair because the CEO doesn't like Bitcoin. I wonder why. And taking a dive into Iran again because they now closed down a lot of illegal mining companies to get this official mining of power plants started. Short video today, but tomorrow I promise you guys I will visit an amazing place to create a beautiful video like the one that I climbed up a mountain. Enjoy today's video guys. just a walk around the house today but tomorrow I promise you guys to bring you to another beautiful location here in Alicante Spain this is the most beautiful part of my day to see my wife doing yoga standing on her head for about four minutes how long five minutes like this I tried it for 30 seconds. Had some problem there. So, let's take a walk and talk about blockchain, Bitcoin and live. Yesterday evening was an amazing evening. We were visiting, I think it is Alan and Linda. Sorry if I forgot your names because you fed me all this Irish whiskey and Irish drinks. Shit, I shouldn't be saying this because I'm doing my diet. So if my coach sees this, oh my God, she will be angry. Did, he, did you drink whiskey? Yes, I drank one or two zips of whiskey. But he created an amazing event with great Irish food. <laughs> no, I'm saying Irish food. It was Spanish food. It was Italian food, lasagna. But it was cooked in an Irish way. She is an amazing cook. She prepared an amazing dishes and pre-dishes. And the dessert was like, mwah. the dessert was made of dark rum pears and many other stuff i love the dessert i love the evening um, Alan is a really good musician he's making music with his harmonica and um, blue style i loved it I'm going to buy an harmonica because I, I figured out it's a very light instrument you can take all over the world with your travels and the sounds he got out of this instrument sounded so cool I want to learn to play this instrument so I can create joy and happiness everywhere on the beach while I play beautiful blue songs with my new harmonica I'm figuring out where to buy it because I want to pay it with Bitcoin so I can show you how I buy this this stuff as well when I want to have something like that Thank you, Ellen, for my first harmonica lesson. Thank you, Linda, for the amazing food, for the beautiful night and all the drinks. It was a beautiful evening and I will probably stay some longer in Spain now. So we will probably meet again. Who is joining me today? Can you see him? Like I said, guys, today just taking a walk around the house up to the left uh, to a beautiful area. But tomorrow I will drive you to an amazing place here where there is a small river with some pools where I could swim. So tomorrow, taking you there today, just doing a walk in this beautiful area around the house. I think today or tomorrow, 
they are going to harvest all these almond trees when they will harvest these almond trees i will show you this of course on video because it's really cool how they do it i've seen the machines driving around uh, the last couple of days so they are coming closer and closer to our place and i think tomorrow maybe later today they will harvest it i will video it and i will show you tomorrow how they harvest these almond trees here in spain let's talk about bitcoin for some time yes yesterday i said wow big green candle incoming what do i mean with a huge green candle i mean a green candle that could be one thousand dollar up for bitcoin so from around 11 Point seven to 12.7 13k that kind of a green candle we have seen these kinds of green candles many times in the past so it could easily happen one of the reasons why many people expect this green candle to happen this week again is this chart bam on this chart you can see the options that are going to expire the 28th of august the 28th of August, 62,000 options will expire. And probably this will be a reason to push Bitcoin up with 1,000 US dollar, like it has done many times in the past. Because like you can see on this chart, bam, this beautiful black chart with these colorful lines, I will show you what this means. If you look at the top of the chart, you can see this red line. This red line is signaling the options period from the 16th of December to the 24th 4th of April. In this period, you can see the option expire on the 24th of April. If you zoom into that part of the chart with the 24th of April, when these options expired, you can see that Bitcoin went up exactly at that moment also when you take a look at this blue line these are the options from december 16th till may 29th i think if you look at this one this end of the blue line you look downwards to the chart you can see that also after the expiring of these options at the 29th of may bitcoin had a small run upwards also a run downwards after it but now in average we are above the level that Bitcoin had at the expiration of these options the 29th of May. And then now you can take a look at the green line because the green lines, these are the options that are about to expire the 28th of August. The question is now, will this date again do the same like these other two days that the Bitcoin options expired? Because the previous two times Bitcoin went up after these options expired so will this happen again now on friday the 28th of august this is the question in my opinion it will happen the same this option will expire and bitcoin will have a huge green candle of 1k that is one of the reasons why i shared yesterday's video also guys when we take a look at this chart bam this is the one year active supply of bitcoin on this chart guys you can see that we are now nearing the lowest point since 2011 we haven't been this low in the active supply since 2011. This chart is showing us that 61% of the people invested in Bitcoin are holding their Bitcoins longer than one year. So 61% already holding their Bitcoins longer than one year and we are at the low point of this chart. You can see when you look to the left on the chart that there were also periods that we went up with a spike. These periods were the bull runs. This was the 2014, this was the 2017-18 bull run. That is exactly when that number increased. Because at that point, people will sell their Bitcoins with profit. At the moment, 98% of the people that hold Bitcoin are in profit. So there is no reason to sell them at the moment. I think this line is now again going to curl up into this huge bull run again where people will take profit. Because 98% of the people holding Bitcoins is now in profit. Because 98% of the Bitcoins is now worth more than they were received. So 98% of the Bitcoins held in wallets is worth more than they were received in this wallet. Also a huge indicator that we could see a bull run very soon. Because there will be a time that this line curls up and that people will sell their bought Bitcoins to take the profit and buy Bitcoin back again in the dip to take another profit run 
into the huge peak all the way up to 100k or maybe even the 300k or the 1.2 million other TAs have been predicting. Another cool chart guys is this one. Bam! On this chart you can see that Bitcoin has been above 10k for the second longest period. It's already above 10k for 28 days now. I think the longest period was around 60 days. So every day we stay above 10k will be added up to this graph and will show us in the end that we stayed above 10k for a very long time. I think the one on the left is now the highest with 60 days. I think that won't be very, will be very small in the, in the future because I think we'll create many more days above 10k level from now on because this bull run is going to take at least one and a half year. So if you take six months, seven months, eight months, times 30 you know something like 200 days then at the end this line on the left side on the chart will be a very small one if the next one will be 200 days plus above 10k a really interesting chart to check again in a few months time let's take a look at a more detailed chart about the bitcoin price let's take a look at this chart bam this is lisa's chart yes you recognize it of course in all the beautiful colors in this weekly chart so every candle is a week in this weekly chart you can see these elliott waves lisa has drawn onto the chart you can see that wave three on this chart is going to take us all the way up to 16,400 us dollar then we will see this corrective wave four all the way back to thirteen thousand five hundred dollar to see another fifth wave all the way up to twenty thousand us dollar so this is the elliott wave principle and it will take us from here till a new all-time high in bitcoin in the next couple of months what will happen after that we don't know yet but of course when we get a top in the elite wave we will get this abc correction downwards to get some more fuel to gather some more friends to take us up to the even higher wave in the bull run because remember a bull run is not made in one direct line upwards it is made in waves it goes up and down and up and down just like the chart i showed you a few videos ago where you can see all these run-ups of 116 percent the drops of 40 percent 100 percent the drop of 30 percent 100 percent the drop of 40 percent this is what you need to expect from the next bull run zoom out into these charts and uh, see and realize that yes we will go up but we will go up in waves up and down up and down and these waves will take us all the way up to the next all-time high in this bull run in my opinion would be around 100k but like i shared already it can also be around 300k or even around a million like other people expect again i would be very happy with the next all-time high of 100,000 us dollar per bitcoin you can also see on lisa's chart there is a huge massive resistance around 12,600 till 13,500 so it can take some time for us to break this huge resistance but in the end we will break it this wave that lisa is drawing for example this third wave that is going to take it all the way up to 16k this is not going to be one candle this is again going to be sub waves in this wave so we will see it up down up down up down till we get 16k it's never one line it's a wave and sub waves in this wave so i said a lot of times waves now and um, maybe i should buy some waves it's a sign maybe waves is going up again i made 130 percent profit on the last trade in waves maybe i should buy waves now <laughs> well that's a very logical thought that he, yeah very logical but please do understand guys that there are still people that don't like bitcoin like the ceo of ryanair maybe that's why i just skipped the flight of ryanair today to austria maybe no coincidence at all because i knew that this guy doesn't support bitcoin so i didn't fly to austria with ryanair today <laughs> but of course that's not the reason the whole flu situation is the reason but the ceo of ryanair just told us i am never going to touch bitcoin i'm never going to invest in bitcoin maybe he will be the next jamie Dimon, you know of jp morgan that, that four years ago shouted i'm never going to touch bitcoin i'm never going to invest in bitcoin even if one employee of jp morgan invests in bitcoin he will lose his job maybe the ceo of ryanair will be the same guy that is now shouting i'm never going to invest in bitcoin and in three or four years times he is going to exchange all the reserve fiat assets of his company into bitcoin because also he cannot stop 
this amazing revolution of this technology that is going to take us to this new monetary system. Let's refer to it as the monetary system 2.0 because Bitcoin and all this DeFi industry and cryptocurrencies are unstoppable. It is the next step in the evolution of money. And if companies like Ryanair are not believing in this, they might lose a huge share of their capital because of the huge inflation that is going to come there because of the next crisis. So maybe he should call the president of Iran, which is a very pro-Bitcoin country, because Iran, like I shared in a few videos ago, is now allowing all these power plants to mine Bitcoins. They even shut down around 1100 illegal mining companies now because they don't want illegal mining, they want official government mining. And that is why these governments are allo allowing these probably government-owned power plants now to mine Bitcoin in an industrial way. Maybe this will be the next industrial revolution for countries like Iran. Maybe mining Bitcoin will be this next issue where all these countries will be fighting over in the next 10 years. Like it was oil for many of years, all these wars created in Iran, Iraq and all over that part of the world were all fought about oil. What if the next war is going to be fought about Bitcoin mining? And what if that Iran now is again leading this industrial revolution by allowing huge power plants to now start mining Bitcoin? Maybe this mining Bitcoin will be even more profitable for them as mining oil or gold. Let's see what will happen in the future. Nobody knows, but it's always cool to analyze these situations because it's just really nice to see how this technology has been evolving and how the trust of governments, banks and other centralized organizations is now growing in Bitcoin. That was all the news for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, give the video a thumbs up, share it with your communities. Please subscribe to the channel and leave a comment as I love to respond to your comments. I wish you an amazing day and just want to remind you to always zoom out in crypto and to zoom in at life. Try to enjoy every single minute of the day because that is exactly what makes life worth living. Hopefully I will see you tomorrow again when I will share a beautiful place that I will visit tomorrow. So see you tomorrow again and enjoy your day. Bye.